Hey everybody, it is church school time. My name is Gracia, I'm the Youth and Children Ministry Coordinator here at Trinity. And we certainly miss having you here in our church school rooms. But in the meantime, here is a little church school lesson you can enjoy at home and talk about with your family. So I am wondering today if any of you have ever been on a boat ride. I know summer is coming. I don't go on a lot of boat rides, but I have been on a boat before and it's pretty fun. Um, today we're going to learn about a boat ride that Jesus went on with his friends and see what happens there. Jesus and his friends, the disciples, met by a lake one day. They were going to go fishing together. Creek, creek. The fishing boat rocked as Jesus put one leg over the side of the boat and pulled himself in. Follow me, Jesus said to his disciple friends. One by one, they climbed into the boat. Finally, they pushed off from shore. Jesus' friends talked and laughed in the boat. They told stories about all the fish they caught on the lake. What was your best fishing trip, Jesus? One of his friends asked. But Jesus did not answer. He was sound asleep. Zzz. Gray clouds came into the sky and pushed out the sun. The boat rocked harder now. The first raindrops came. Plop, plop. The disciples held their cloaks around them as the rain fell harder. Burr! The rain was cold and the wind was blowing strong against their skin. Waves came over the top of the boat. Splash! Lightning flashed all around the boat. Thunder cracked. Jesus' friends yelled, we shouldn't be out here on the lake. How could Jesus sleep? Flashes of light and gusts of wind came every second. Jesus' friends couldn't wait any longer. They shook Jesus awake. Help us, Jesus, they cried. Jesus opened his eyes and saw the fear on their faces. Why are you so afraid, he asked. Jesus stood up in the boat and lifted his arms. Peace, be still. In that instant, waves lay down on the lake. Shh. Clouds made a space for the sun. The raindrops stopped and there was silence instead of thunder. Jesus' friends stared at each other. Did you see that? Jesus saved us. We're alive. We survived that awful storm. Thank you, Jesus. So one question it asks down here is, show someone how your face would look before, during, and after the storm if you had been on the boat. So you can share with your family members what your face would look like. And I like this story because it is a great reminder that Jesus is with us in all kinds of circumstances, right? He's with us in the good times when the water is smooth. He's with us in the bad times or when things aren't going so well. So, um, yeah, and that's a great reminder in these times, isn't it? That even when things aren't going well or the way we expect them to, that Jesus, because we have Jesus, we have peace and hope in our hearts. So will you please pray with me? Dear Jesus, we thank you so much that you are with us every day through the good times and the not so good times. And we thank you that because we know you, we can have peace and hope in our hearts. In your name we pray. And all God's people said, Amen. Thanks for joining us today. We'll be back next Wednesday. So this week at home, I would invite you to um, make a drawing or a painting. Maybe you have Play-Doh or some sort of clay or even Legos or blocks. But I would love to see what your boat looks like. So maybe make a boat with Jesus and his friends in there. And if you do make a picture or build with some blocks or something like that, 
If you could have your mom or dad take a picture of it and post it in the comments of this post, then we can all share our pictures together. So um, we look forward to seeing those. Thanks.